we're hearing from the Benson couple carjacked and attacked near 50th and Maple. KATV News Watch 7's Adrian Whitsett joins us live. And quite the ordeal, all happening in what seemed like seconds. First, two people standing in their neighbor's driveway, one asking to use the phone. Then they see their ransacked car. But the couple wasn't prepared for what happened next. So much can happen under cover of darkness. Thieves used it Wednesday to take Amy and Corey's sense of peace. I remember him opening the door with the gun in his hand, pointing it at him, and at that time I got hit in the head. And then I was told, we were told to get the F out of the car. Amy thought only of her daughter and granddaughter still inside the home. She went to strike me again, and I got out with my hands up, and I started walking backwards towards the house, and he's like, not towards the house, not towards the house. The thieves take the car, the couple runs to a neighbor's. They were terrified. Nothing like that has ever happened in this neighborhood. A trip to the hospital for seven stitches. Our neighbor's vehicle is where they got that screwdriver from. And that's what, what is, they used to assault me with. Around 3 a.m., a call. Police found their Camry near 28th and Spalding. They didn't steal anything out of the car except a car charger. Ultimately, Amy and Corey are okay, if not thinking about a place with a little more light. After um, considering the situation, you know, I, I have to be grateful that um, it wasn't worse than what it was and that we ha still have the rest of our lives to look forward to. You know, I just want to get the word out. It doesn't matter where you're at, in front of your house, on the street corner, it could happen. And glad to have their car back. Amy says she just hopes the thieves get caught soon. Back to you. Thanks.